This Sunday, we have an exciting opportunity to commission three new Stephen ministers. And so I would like to call forward Stephanie Bird Hutchinson, Esther Warner, and, and Catherine Johnston to come forward. Also with Louise Farmer, Lynn Buchanan, and Mike Inman, who are Stephen leaders. These ladies have gone through hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of training. Esther, Stephanie, Catherine, you have been equipped to serve as Stephen ministers at First Presbyterian Church. Listen now to the words we find in Scripture, first from 2 Corinthians. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God and from Colossians. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Ladies, each of you have been comforted by God with the good news of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection for you. We ask you now to join in serving our Lord and those in our congregation who need to be comforted. As the Lord Jesus has responded to your needs, we ask you to strive to be responsive to the needs of others. As the Lord Jesus took the burdens of the world on his shoulders and has been a friend to you in troubled times, we ask that you be a friend to those who are burdened under the stress of daily life. As the Lord Jesus patiently listens when you turn to him, we ask you to be a patient listener in a hurried world. As the Lord Jesus has broken down the barriers that separated you from God, we ask you to heal divisions whenever you find them and strive to make people whole. As the Spirit of Christ has given you gifts for service, we ask you to use your skills and talents to help those people whom you serve and to pray for them. As the Lord Jesus has shown his care to you, we ask you to help this congregation grow as a caring community through your caring ministry. As the Lord Jesus has revealed his presence to you through faith, we ask you to share your personal experiences of faith with those around you so that they too may celebrate the presence of Christ in our world today. questions for you, and if you will, uh, <clears throat> the answer would be yes. Are you prepared to meet the requests that we ask of you? Are you prepared to nurture the skills that you've learned and use them in service to others to support, encourage, build up, and comfort people in all their needs? Now we ask you, members of the, our congregation, to open your hearts to the ministry of these people and to pray for them, that they may be effective servants of Christ. Are you prepared to meet this request? If so, answer yes, with the help of God. Yes, with the help of God. We also ask you to accept their ministry when you need help and to allow these individuals to work with you as you face struggles in your life, that you might receive support and help from your Christian brothers and sisters if you are prepared to meet this request, answer yes with the help of God. Yes, with the help of God. Are you prepared as new Stephen ministers to serve as Stephen ministers in First Presbyterian Church of Wichita, Kansas? Okay. Lynn and Louise did much of the training. They allowed Brent and I uh, to join occasionally, and it really was um, mornings, well, I had Saturday mornings, mornings of laughter and mornings of, of um, great joy. And so Esther, our Lord Jesus Christ, touched the lives of many in varied ways. 
may he, sh may he shower his love upon you and sustain you in the ministry that lies ahead of you. And Catherine, you are a new creation. May his redeeming love bring you peace in your service to God's people. And Stephanie, blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord. And blessed is the person who finds their strength in the Lord Jesus Christ. May you ever continually find this strength in your ministry and in your life. You guys have promised to faithfully serve the Lord Jesus Christ and his people as Stephen Ministries. And so I commend you to that work and guidance with the Holy Spirit as you turn to care for others. Work hard, as I know all three of you will. Use the skills that you have learned, releasing the talents and the gifts that God has given to you so that you might be a blessing to those the people that you encounter. Continue to study. So you thought the training was done, but it's not. So continue to study. Reflect on the circumstances and the interactions that you have with others. Pray for those whom you are privileged to share. Be free to share your own journey, your own personal frustrations and needs that others might be able to care and love for you as well. Act boldly and without fear, for Christ is with you. And a blessing May the God of peace sanctify you wholly in spirit, soul, and body, and may you be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so excited. <laughs> Please pray with me. Oh God, we ask you to, take, you to take Esther, Catherine, and Stephanie into your care. You have blessed them with particular gifts and talents and have provided them with an opportunity to learn more about helping people. May they serve you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May they be quick to serve, patient in listening, willing to share themselves with people. Give to us thankful hearts for them and show them in times of stress and satisfaction a special measure of your mercy and joy. Keep them strong in the faith you have given them for the sake of Jesus, who cares for all of, all of us in every way forever. Amen. You know, we couldn't get out without a yay, because this is a yay moment. And these three women are joining other Stephen ministers and Stephen leaders in this congregation. And I'd love to see who of you, if you could please stand so that these women can see what they're part of. So if you've been commissioned as a Stephen leader or a Stephen minister, I'd encourage you to stand. You all are being shy. I know you're out there. And so you get to join this great group of people. Yay. And so now, yay, I just can't stop saying it. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord, and I'm going to hug you each. 